So the motor, the pulley and everything is all in, ready to go, and this is, uh, I have not started this yet, so this is the uh, first crack with uh, the motor bearings and the uh, spindle pulley uh, bearings. And that's uh, 4,250 RPM right there, that's full out. That's down to uh, 15 hertz there just as a reference to uh, some of the other noise that it was making down low at low RPM. Believe it or not, me just sitting here watching this, I can actually, uh, the VFD itself, the fan and the VFD is making more noise than the spindle head or the uh, belt. So this was the uh, the next step, motor, pulley housing, and the uh, the spindles on there too. And I'm going to start out uh, again. I've got the belt on the uh, fastest RPM here at 4250, but I've got the uh, VFD limited to uh, 15 hertz. Just uh, change the camera view here, and I've got the belt on. Uh, I think that's uh, 1,020 RPM, so that's uh, I'm running it at 60 hertz, so that's wide open for the motor speed, and then just uh, adjust it on the pulley speed. So this is new bearings in the motor, second set of new bearings in the spindle pulley, and uh, no spindle at this point. 60 hertz. So I think that's pretty acceptable there. Uh, next would be to try it with the spindle. I have a suspicion that the spindle bearings uh, need some help.
so at this point uh, I think the uh, the mathematics here is adding up to uh, pulling this spindle back apart pulling the bearings out and uh, replacing them there seemed to be a fair amount of interest in the M head and uh, some of the work I've been doing so what I thought I would do is um, I know I've shown this coming apart before this is the spindle and I've got new bearings for it this is to try and quiet the whole system down so right now I've got the, uh, the one of the new bearings on the uh, bearing heater and uh, we'll just be right about uh, two minutes here and then we'll be ready to slip a bearing on there That worked nice. Now we got to get the uh, spacer. We're going to get a second bearing heated up now. That uh, bearing heater sure makes life simple. So the next thing is with those two bearings on there is to pull the spindle and the two bear or yeah the spindle and the two bearings into uh, the quill here. <clears throat> so it's just uh, ready rod and uh, jam nuts. And there's a positive stop in there that it, but, it butts up against. So next is a uh, similar action here with a uh, uh, properly fitted piece of uh, tubing <laughs> that fits the inner race here and um, so now I'm going to press that bearing down in up against the uh, long spacer that's inside the spindle. So 
So next is the um, spacers here for the top. That's for the inner race. That's for the outer. It should fit in there. Yes. Yep. And now one more bearing. Same thing. And so obviously the uh, the um, cage uh, washer there and uh, the nut here that goes in and uh, locks everything together. And uh, it's sounding pretty good right now. So next step is we uh, get the motor and pulley on there and give it the final test. And so now with everything back together here, uh, this is uh, the new baseline for motors done, pulley bearings are done, and the spindle bearings are done. I'm going to start out at 15 hertz, go to 30, 45, and 60, and this is uh, full RPM, so this would be maxed out at 4250.